hello you welcome back to my channel my name is praise ganeyu i have no doubt in me that this video you're about to watch is going to be a blessing so please go ahead to like share drop your comment and of course subscribe and also do not forget to turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when i drop any other video thank you so much please do enjoy the video prayer is not an atmosphere you are supposed to know when your prayer goes through she in it to pretano ake cantinia Let's stop playing religion, sir. Do you know? This is why the heart must be prepared with faith before prayer can ascend to God for answers. The preparation of the heart a man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Proverbs 16, 1. The heart will be prepared to pray. Don't just jump to pray. Lawyers don't jump to court. They prepare. Prepare your heart to take delivery of the issues you are presented. Jotham became great because he prepared his ways before the Lord is God. Second Chronicles 27 and verse 6. Furthermore, we must engage the heart in communicating our desires. Our prayer is going nowhere. The heart. These people draw near me with their mouth. With their tongue, they honor me. But their heart is far from me. Isaiah 29 verse 13. Their heart is not involved. Only their mouth is talking. Now, but in Jeremiah 29 13, very interesting too. 29, 13, 29, 13. You shall seek for me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. With all your heart. So your finding of grammar doesn't fly. It's not part of the prayer protocols for answers. It's not part of it. The heart of man is deep and desperately wicked who can know it. You can be praying for someone now to be healed and he's thinking of which hospital to go while you are praying for him. The heart is far from me. Just finish praying. After prayer, okay. Uh, what about money? He didn't believe one thing you said. One. Somebody's story is changing. <laughs> Sir, absent-mindedness can be frustrating, but absent-heartedness can be devastating. Nothing will go, nothing. Nothing will go. Remember, what counts with God is not just doing the will of God, but doing the will of God from the heart. Ephesians 6, verse 6 and 7. Not with eye service, Please go back 6-6, six, six, please. Not with thy service as men please us, but as the servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart. Not doing your will, the will of God. When, in Psalm 27, verse 8, when thou say, seek my face, my heart says, Thy face, O oh God, when I seek. I think with this missing link back in place, you are set for a most adventurous prayer life. You will, you will begin to experience new energy in prayer. You are not saying it to be part of the crowd and play the religion of prayer. This is God speaking. I will, therefore, that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubting. So, the post choice of no consequence. So, that I stand to pray does not make me superior. That to sit to pray does not make you inferior. That to need to pray does not make you superior. 
that to sit to pray does not make you superior. So engage the liberty of the spirit to be sure your fervency is maintained. Fervency, fervency, fervency. You don't need to close your eyes, but if you're opening the eyes, it's distracting your attention. You are looking around whether your friend came or not in the course of prayer. Is that the way to get answers? Can you take a judge that, excuse me, I want to check my phone. My friend may have called me as a lawyer. He said, my Lord. He said, what's happening? I want to answer my call. Court, go away. <laughs> you are finished. <laughs> my God. So whatever we tamper with your fervency, deal with it. Can I hear your amen? Can I hear your amen? Please hear this. God does not answer fasting. He answers the prayers you pray while you fast. Then shall thou call. Any fasting that won't lead to a call is just normal dieting. Normal dieting to keep fit. It has no spiritual value. Then, this is the fast I've chosen. And then verse 9 of it, Isaiah 58, Then shall thou call and the Lord shall answer. God answers prayers in a fast. He doesn't answer fasting. So don't mistake your fasting for prayer. They don't add. Fasting is essentially for empowerment, our spiritual empowerment. You break every yoke. The anointing is erupted. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit from a fasting episode. So fasting is for spiritual empowerment. Secondly, it's for outbreak of revelation that this with issues of our life where we need a way out. Can I hear your amen? Call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Fasting is not, does not guarantee answers to prayers you have not prayed. So, don't make a mistake on that. God does not answer many words and prayers. Don't try to teach God something. He knows all. Amen. They think that by their much speaking, they shall be heard. Mark chapter six, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 7. Christ was praying the same prayer, the same prayer, with the same tempo. He went back saying the same thing. Matthew 26 and verse 41 to 44, saying the same thing. So he doesn't need many words. You don't have to convince God. His word is there and clean on all issues. It's your new day. Lift up your right hand, everybody, and give God thanks. Would you give Jesus thanks? Thank you so if much for staying to the end of the video. I believe you have been tremendously blessed. Please do not forget to like, share, drop a comment, and of course, please subscribe and also turn on your notification bell so you can get notified when I drop any other video. My name is Grace Ganyu. Thank you so much for watching.